All right, hello and welcome to day six of Advent of Code. Uh, we're about a minute and 40 seconds out. So uh, a few updates from yesterday. I am switching over to not use the zero log library. It, it just sort of got in the way. It's pretty good for things um, like structured logging in production systems, but not so great for stuff like this. So I'm going back to just format print line. Um, we'll see how that goes today. Uh, I added a few shortcuts, so like um, macros and such for Vim. So that'll be nice. All right, under a minute left before we get going. Um, I'd love to, I'd love to crack top, top, uh, 1000 again. That'd be nice. That'd be real nice. But, uh, we'll see how things go. If you're on YouTube, um, I do stream these live on Twitch every evening. So, um, go on over there. There's a link in the description and you can follow me there to know when I uh, am streaming. Let's get rid of that. Five, four, three, two, one, zero. Okay, let's do this. Oh dear. Okay. What is our expected out of this? Seven. Forgot to open up my test file. That's okay. Okay. I'll probably have to use these. Okay, um, that's not horrible. Um, is it just one line? Okay, it's just one line. Um, Okay, so uh, 
This is annoying. That was slow. Okay, <clears throat> didn't crack top 1,000. How did I actually do? Okay, that, I'm not too disappointed with that. I, I'm a little bit annoyed with... Yeah, I guess since I'm going zero index, this is totally fine to just leave. Okay, 36.05. Man, I was slow. That was atrocious. Let's see how I did it on, on the leaderboard here. Um... Eight eight. Ah, oh, darn! And Owens jumped in. That's not what I want to see. He's actually good at this. My delta time was horrible. All right. Uh. Well, that was. I guess it's. I mean, it was a success. I. I I like everything worked. Didn't have to use any more test cases, so I mean, I don't know. It's fine. Let's clean this up after I commit. I guess reading it, reading in the input was just really the most annoying part of this. Um, uh, again, um, I sort of read into the wrong data structure. I read into a string, and then that was just annoying to deal with. So I think whenever I'm dealing with these list of characters, yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna just jump straight to rooms. Um, Cause that was just easier by like a lot. Um, okay. 
So let me just clean this up. Um, I guess I need like sl a sliding window function or something. That would be, I think that would be a useful utility to build. Lists, columns, copy, sort, top end, bottom end, let's see here. Oh wait, do I already have it? No, this is, that's not sliding window. In general, it's fine to store this in RAM, I think. sub i uh, n Okay, I feel like there's a good way of doing this using go slices, but I don't really know anything about how go slices work. <laughs> uh, I think it's, I can just do like, maybe windows that append. Uh, L I to I plus N. Does that work? Let's try it. That does that does very very much does not work. Uh right. Uh that looks definitely wrong. Oh, um, it's really plus four. Okay, yeah, so this did work. The indices are just a little bit different here. 
Okay, this this works. So um There we go. Get rid of that, 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 that. Um, okay, now I just extract this out. Point D, D06, sol, um, <clears throat> N. Oops, returning int. We just do this, that. Replace all the fours with N, and fail to find the message chart. Uh, I think that's a lot cleaner. So what's going on here? I guess I should explain a little bit. Um, yeah, so so we're looking for a sliding window. Uh, whoops. Let me actually just, before I explain stuff, um, where's mine? Uh, Let's just see if anybody, did anybody on this leaderboard? Ah, did Ryan score again? No, well, I, I mean, he must have, he must have leaderboarded on that day as well. Okay, um, so what's going on here? Basically, oops, we're, we're given some string and you just have to find the first sliding window of N characters where they're all unique. And this one's the first one. No, wait, this one, this one here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven in the seventh character. We get a sliding window of four characters, which is unique. And then you just return that. And then this one, it's just 14. So it's just a little bit longer. Um, and yeah, so, so that's the problem. Um, I implemented sliding window originally pretty, I think pretty well, like my original solution was pretty good. Uh, this one though is way better because it uses slices and this is pretty efficient because this will just give you the actual pointer to the first element. Um, as long as you don't mo mutate this, maybe I should be clear about that. Um, window, sliding windows, slices. Because <laughs> if you don't know that th these are slices, then you can accidentally override things that you don't want overridden. So if you, if I need it in the future, I'm going to need to copy. Uh, okay, so um, I guess let me think here. Yeah, I I plus one. Yeah, this should be efficient, I think. Slices are, are efficient. I can add a comment here. Is the slices sliding windows of L at the As an array of slices of the original list. If you need to modify the list, it is recommended that you only use this for read only use cases and copy out the elements if. needed to put into a different data structure. That way then I will avoid errors, hopefully. 
Okay, let's see. Not set. Can I just pass in, I wonder if I can pass in W here. Does that still work? Yes. Okay. Mm, this isn't like super efficient. That's just probably very inefficient, but it's, I think it's fairly elegant. Uh, so let's just go with that. Um, basically I'm just converting it to a set and then turning it into a list and checking the length. So this is like kind of inefficient, but it's a good way of checking if there's duplicates because the length would not be the same as N. Okay. Um, I think I'm gonna leave it there. Yeah, I'm not too, I mean, I did, I was pretty slow, um, but it felt better, I guess. Um, you know, top 3,000, or top almost 2,000. So this is this is an improvement. Uh, okay. Um, I'm going to call it there. So thank you all for watching. Uh, again, I stream this live every evening at 10 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. So come on over to Twitch if you're on YouTube, and I will... Uh, see you there.